I think we should start off with some ASMR now. Yes, I've been wanting to do this. Okay. I mean, yes, I've been gonna... wanting to do this. I'm not going to say the, the brand. <laughs> Whatever, I don't fucking care. It's like right there on the camera. You're talking too loud for ASMR. Well, I'm just like, it's more like the sound. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Probably for you guys. <laughs> Welcome to Junior Voice. Hello. Oh. <laughs> mm. Help me, I'm drinking. Do the fucking <laughs> Sorry. You okay, he's Josh. Uh -huh. I'm Victoria. Um, this is episode ten, I think. That's actually fucking crazy if this is our tenth episode. I think it is our tenth episode. We're kind of like really cool and really consistent. Double digits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Double digits. Last episode, we talked about um, I, Incredibles, okay. the royal family, YouTubers, my Minecraft YouTube deep dive. Parker Coppins has a secret oh my Minecraft gosh, like, YouTube account. Like a whole like conspiracy theory yeah. type shit. Yeah. yeah, and I'm still thinking about it. Yeah, but um, today we have more things to talk about. Absolutely. So I was gonna say either we should rack that segment where we talk about what we talked about last episode, or we have a list to say because I don't. Remember yeah, we no, we anything. keep doing it. I'll just remember when we come into a session and it's like our first one. I'll just remember to like look at the list from before. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Welcome everyone. Hope you're having a good week. It's Wednesday. Happy mm -hmm. Wednesday. Happy I hope Wednesday. it's raining when you're listening don't to this. Don't fucking say that. I love the rain. Why am I so alone on that? Literally everyone I talk to is like, oh, I fucking hate the rain. Well, it's like fine it when beautiful. you're inside, I guess, but it's not nice when I'm like walking to class. When you don't you leave picture me yourself like you're in like a music video or like you're in a movie. I like it from is that just the me? window. Like, I just don't want to be in it. Low key, like when you're watching a movie and it's raining, the rain is like a character within itself. Really? Write that down. Open up a Google Doc. <laughs> write, write down the shit I say on here. That's really inspiring. Yeah, no, that is really good. Right? Because I, I agree with you, actually. So I I take that into my everyday life. When it's, also, like I just like, I like shift in in weather. Because like, especially like where we live, like we don't really get four seasons like that. Like, right. It's either like really fucking hot. Sometimes it's just tolerable in between. Or it's fucking freezing or it's right, raining. Right, right, right. And that's it. Other places get like nice four seasons mm -hmm. and we don't. True. Yeah. So when I say I hope it's raining, I mean it in a good way, you guys, because mm -hmm. I love the rain. Look, I'm so blue. I'm blue because the rain today. <laughs> I planned that. Good. Yeah. What's your favorite weather then? Oh, sun. Sun. <laughs> sun. <laughs> I don't like to be too hot because... There are allegations that I um, faint, um, but it only happened one and a half times. You fainted before? I fainted. Oh, this will be I a great story. Too, yeah. I fainted prom day, dude. Really? When? Yes. We were taking pictures before. We took pictures different places. Yeah, I was we, with our yeah, group. Yeah, we, we did. Yeah. And we so did. I was um, like, we were in the middle of pictures, but it felt like we had been taking pictures forever. I now realize it was only because I was like about to faint, but I was, I had my date on one side and my best friend on the other. Oh, I turned to her. I was like, I low key need to go. And then I think I just like, I <laughs> collapsed. She caught me. She like, she's my saving oh, grace. That goodness. woman, Isabella is the most important person in my life. 100%. Just gracefully whisked me away. And wow. then I was okay. It was a combination of heat. My dress was heavy as yeah. fuck. I was anxious as hell. Mm. Um, and then I ended up being fine later. But that was crazy. And there is a video somewhere because people, because really? we were in the middle yeah, of taking yeah, yeah. pictures. Um, so someone's mom has a video of me collapsing and her saving me. Oh my but God. But that was crazy. And then, but the good thing about that is now I know what that felt like. I was at um, mm. a concert like a, uh, like maybe a year-ish after that and I felt it kind of happening but luckily it was like a seated one so I sat for a bit and then I was okay but yeah I see yeah 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 that's a good point about like knowing what it feels like because I have had moments where like oh shit like if I like keep doing whatever I'm right? doing it's over yeah did I ever tell you when I fainted no I want to really know. oh my god this was like fuck this must have been like fifth grade oh. maybe fourth grade and uh, we were rehearsing for like a little like Christmas concert thing that we do. I think you guys did something. Yeah, similar. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but my school had like a Christmas concert thing, and uh, so you know, 
before we even rehearsed, it was PE. And uh, my, my beloved PE coach, I, I love this guy to death, but like, dude, the hell. Like, he <laughs> fucking, if he ever watches this, he'll feel like, like <laughs> shit. But he made us do like suicides in the, in the hot sun. Oh, damn. It was really hot. And I didn't, I mean, I didn't drink much water, but whatever. And um, so I was doing that and I felt like shit. So I, I like, I think I, I'm not sure if I like threw up or whatever, but I had to go to like the nurse's office and like lie down. Mm -hmm. And so I did for a little bit, and then I don't know what the fuck the nurse was doing, but I was like, at some point, I was like, I think I was getting like FOMO because like they were rehearsing like oh. instead of like going to class, and I was like, oh fuck. This <laughs> and then I was like, nurse, I'm okay, just let me go. <laughs> and she goes, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> and then so I get up and I take my ass all the way to like where we're rehearsing, mm -hmm. and then um, I don't remember like the the moments like leading up to it. I guess I just remember like going back to like where I'm supposed to be uh -huh. and then someone, one of my friends asked me like, are you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. And then black. Wow. And then I was on the floor and then I, is Tori, I thought I was dying. Really? Because, okay, we went to Catholic school and they fucking started praying the Hail Mary <laughs> over and over and over again. <laughs> And that's what I heard as like my vision went in and out and in and no, out. That's just terrifying. a bunch of children saying, <laughs> Hail Mary Fuller. I was like, oh my God, like this that's is scary. it. This is it. That's actually so scary. No, it's terrifying. <gasps> and then I woke up to like my principal, who I didn't like, by the way, mm. like standing over me. And I was like, what the f that's what are you bad. doing? That's and bad. like my, my shoes were off and my socks were off. I'm like, what? Who did that? <laughs> I think they were just trying to like cool me down. I don't know whose decision that was. <laughs> But like, and then I had to like be escorted. <laughs> I had to be escorted out of the school in an ambulance, and it was like this whole Whoa, th yeah wait, no it that's was a, dramatic yeah no it was a, well because I was fine like um like my brain was fine, but it was when I I fell face first so like I fucked up my lip oh oh right and I still have like a bump on my lip to this day wow, from that that's crazy and uh, <laughs> I remember being in the hospital and shit and uh, that, I think that's like put me under i think to like do like this no it wasn't surgery they just like put like medical glue like on my lips because okay. there's no like stitches it's just right, like whatever right. but i remember like when i was kind of out of it my my pe coach came to visit and uh, my mom was there i think and like they were like kind of like i think they were jokingly giving him shit like why did you make him like do oh. this? i was like i was fine like there was nothing there was nothing serious right, right. but I, I i have no memory of this like to this day but apparently like my coach was like, how are you? Like, I'm like, I need Swedish fish. <laughs> and he's like, what? And I'm like, I need Swedish fish. That's and he insane. goes, okay. And then, uh, I get later on, like I, I'm awake and like, I'm in like a hospital bed. And then, uh, <laughs> he comes by later with Swedish fish Aww. and he goes, here you go. I'm like, the fuck is this? <laughs> he's like, you asked her. I'm like, no, I didn't. <laughs> I felt like I was going insane. That's crazy. No, yeah, it was a crazy couple of days. I was there for like, I think another two days after that. Wow. My lip was really busted up. Yeah. And then uh, one, of, one of my beloved friends named Gavin, uh, when I came back, I'll never forget it. He said, oh, yeah, I could have caught you. Because <laughs> I fell like kind of on him. But I think instead of doing what Isabella did, your friend. Yeah. It, instead of like turning around and catching me and gently laying me down, he was just like, what the fuck? And then just like, <laughs> let me fall. <laughs> but he said, like, I, I could have caught you probably. I'm like, thanks. Karen. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Yeah. No. And uh, ever since then, like, every time I feel like a little bit, like I'm a faint, I'm like, nope. Yeah, nope, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing this. No, it's I, scary. Yeah. Because I remember, like, doing, um, like, weights, like, in freshman year. And I totally felt it. And I was like, no, fuck yeah. this. I'm like, <laughs> I need to sit down. Uh, but, yeah, and I, was, I guess I'm just, like, prone to fainting. Yeah. Yeah. The I, issue. Yeah. Oh, no, that was just oh. trying to wrap up that thought. The issue is, um, like, it was a bunch of parents there also mm -hmm. for the prom pictures. Seb's mom, uh -huh. she asked me, she was like, Do you want me to not tell your mom? I was like, Yeah, don't tell her because my mom is like, like so she freaks out like crazy. Yeah. My date's mom told my mom. And so oh. then she came like, racing over and she was like she was checking on me like all the way like until we got like on the bus to go to the venue like she thought I was like really bad and now she's like so freaked out about it 
my boyfriend is a major runner he asked if I would ever be interested in doing <laughs> like a marathon and I was like yeah I'm down I like very lightly brought it up to my mom she's like you're gonna faint you're gonna die like it's in <laughs> like I can't do like yeah. anything a little bit um active and she thinks it's gonna happen again no yeah because I'm I'm like that too like, whenever I do like a lot of cardio my body like cannot take I don't know what it is mm. and like I don't even think it's like because the fact like oh I'm like not athletic like because I played sports like all the time growing up and this was like a problem when I was little like whenever like I like ran too much I would like just fucking throw up or something oh wow and it was like a running joke like on my flag football team in seventh grade I'd throw up every practice because dude that's these like coaches crazy. had us like pulling tires and shit at like nine oh in the that's morning. dramatic for- <laughs> no it is but I had a great time honestly but that's like good. I no I would throw up all the time during that and uh, yeah I kind of became known for that that's a shame i'm not sure if people can hear it but it's it's coming down right now i can really hear it dude I fucking and i didn't this. bring an umbrella because i thought it was gonna stop i have one but somewhere no it's no, you're fine it's okay. i i love the rain so much guys i love the rain so much please if you like the rain comment because i feel so every time i'm like oh i love the rain let's go out everyone's like what the fuck's wrong with you like i'm gonna get my shoes all wet i'm like that's part of the fun motherfucker i don't know oh shit Sorry. Um, I did like boxing one time and I just like threw up. Oh. You still No twice. You still oh, it's not here anymore. I thought you were still boxing like I don't box my dad boxes. Oh, gotcha. I like the aesthetic of it. Right. And I want to implement it and stuff. Mm-hmm. I like sport. Obviously, this fucking podcast is like the example of it. <laughs> but I really like sports. Like, it feels weird saying sports aesthetic, but like. But no, I know what you mean. Yeah, I guess Same. I guess it is yeah. just like. Because even I felt it like yesterday. I was at a baseball game yesterday, like, and um, it started to like drizzle a little bit, and like just like the smell of like the grass mm. and like the dirt, and I'm like, damn, like I love this shit. Like, yeah. it just really like brings me back and. <laughs> saying that as if I'm like 40 years old <laughs> but no that's real oh yeah and like the jerseys and like you know it's cool I think like liking sports is cool some people get like kind of annoying with it but like I think just like liking sports to watch and yeah 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 um because I mean it's a hobby you know mm-hmm. some people don't have hobbies no don't no. be that person yeah I love hobbies I have like 70 of them that hobbies I'm doing are great yeah that's what I've been saying yeah yeah I love that we both faint yeah. Those fainters. We, we, Do you know anyone who else who like faints? No. Yeah, exactly. Oh, is that like this? At this? my at Isabella's quince. Is this like um, it's, sorry, it's, I'll I'll cut it. No. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At her quince, one of our friends um in her court like fell not fell, like fainted during the mass. Ooh. But he was like in a pew, so like um someone like caught him and it like wasn't so bad. But it was a little sad. So now she's like, oh, it's always my events. Like, because she was, ho- she was hosting the prom photos that day. She's like, someone's always fainting. You motherfuckers when- have to faint. Yeah. Steal my thunder. <laughs> I would love to faint during, like, a really big moment. And then just have all the, the, the care and, oh, like, attention yeah. be on me. Maybe at her wedding you can. Yeah, I'll be like, <laughs> that. It's, it's so fun. I feel, I felt like, at the gym the other day, like, when I was, like, really pushing myself. Really? And I was like. But I wasn't like, no, okay, I was kind of like, I need to stop. But I'm like, okay, good. That means I'm like, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm like really pushing myself. Because I was like on the brink of like, if I kept going like another like 10 seconds, I would have been out. That's crazy. I can just feel it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's scary. Because like the first time, do you like remember even like feeling it? No, right? It was just kind of like, a, okay, now I'm like. I don't remember it. I remember like when it was like coming, but I don't remember yeah. like doing it. Yeah, yeah. I c- yeah, I kind of remember like the inside of my brain felt like TV static. And I felt mm. super light. Mm-hmm. And then I just. Did yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I really want to fan damn. I really wish, like, when I die, like, I get, like, um, like, last episode, we talked about our friend, like, filming us, like, all the time. And, like, it's like seeing, like, an old memory. I really wish when I die, there's just, like, camera footage of, like, big events in my life. Oh. Like, taken, like, from, like, far, like the office style. Oh. Like, hidden cameras type shit i really hope i just get to see that yeah yeah that's fire when i die when i'm gone i was literally thinking that
<laughs> Dude, we're so insane. Bro. That's probably really obnoxious, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> like, did it on the mic. I feel like we bring up. Oh my god. I feel like we bring up Anna Kendrick like all the time. On this podcast. Yeah, that's all me. I love that woman. Well, I love Anna Kendrick as well, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. I watched it on Juno the other day. Love with, uh, Juno. Yeah, I watched it with my girlfriend, but I watched it beforehand with my mom. Oh. Such a good fucking movie. So good. God. See, I have a problem. When I do watch a movie, it's some shit i already seen. That's okay. Is it? I'm like I feel like that, I should be- too. Dude, Juno is so fucking good. It's amazing. What the fuck? Dude, yeah. watch Juno. Please, watch for the Juno. love of God, watch Juno. I think it's on like Hulu right now or whatever. Um, but no, the performance of Juno, like the character, I love her. Yeah. Like, she is so amazing. I think Elliot Page does a fucking fantastic job yeah. of portraying that. And um, I love how it's not, my girlfriend was talking about this too, like I love how it wasn't like a love story type thing because mm-hmm. like it's low key like you could like from like the pictures and all that stuff you can like maybe guess it's like a love story yeah but it's not it's mm-hmm. really not like they really don't focus on michael Sarah's character like too much mm-hmm. and when they do it's like it's cute but it's not too long yeah but it's more about like juno herself and like the pregnancy and like she's just so funny too yeah i love how like funny she is and like, yeah. how, like and i love dude i love 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 when like the main characters or something are just absolute fucking losers oh dorks, yeah and like outcast like it's oh so, yeah there's something so like like enthralling about it real like as a popular kid i like look at them as if they're like animals at a zoo like it's just That's so interesting <laughs> dude i'm just joking yeah i'm just, just having joshing. a joshing just joshing y'all Anyway, good good film. Yeah, I loved you now. I'm glad you brought that up. No, yeah. I will say the one turn off, I think, is how weird the husband got oh, towards Jason Juno. Bateman. Yeah, Jason Bateman. Yeah. Did you know he's fucking the fox? Yeah, Zootopia? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Dude. That's part of his appeal. Are you one of those people who like love the Nick... Not to the extent as our other friend, but I do like, because I like Jason Bateman, like I know why people like Nick. Nick Wilde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Cause there's so, <laughs> I also know some guys who like are like into like Judy. Judy, <laughs> I heard that as well. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'm not gonna judge. Mm-hmm. I think we already talked about it on here, but like honestly, like making fun of furries is out. Low key. I don't know if we've talked about it here. It's out. But because I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Every time I meet a furry or like see a furry online, like they are some of the most talented and kind people. Yeah. That I've ever like seen. Seems like it. Yeah. I haven't met any, but it does there's one guy like I met um called I, I want to say Ima or Ima, but he makes fucking fantastic electronic music, and uh, I, th- I think he's a furry. Like I don't know I don't know like all the terms and shit, but I think he's like in like that community or right. whatever. And it just seems it's like a it's like a joke where like um, oh like every transgender is like a god at electronic music like oh and like this funny like it's like a grinder screenshot of like oh are you trans and the person's like yeah and um, the other person's like okay I didn't come here for like relationship advice I need help like with electronic music or whatever <laughs> like and I know you people are good at that um, but yeah and I think the same thing goes like for furries because they're just fucking goaded wow with that shit. so I'll make fun of you guys. You know what? I don't. Is it for me? No. Yes, yeah, Sam. I went to um my girlfriend took me for to like a, a a farm animal thing. Oh. I was scared shitless cuz I I don't know if you know this either but I am scared of horses so bad. I didn't know that. They are so scary. Horses scare the fuck out of me. That's interesting. They're fuck. Have you ever seen one up close? Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking terrifying. And I've always been saying this, like, if there were a species to, like, completely be like, all right, fuck this, let's take over, it'd be horses. Because we've been using them for so long. Okay, that's true. We have been using them for so far. Dude, you ever watch Nope? Yeah. See? But kind of similar. That's, but the horses weren't, like, I don't think that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the fir- literally the first scene, or is it the first scene? Like, the, not the first scene, my bad. Um, but like one of the first scenes is when, um, 
OJ? That was his name, right? Yeah, when, when it like when, OJ, like when it like bucks back and no, like when it, they were like on set or whatever. Yeah, like yeah They're yeah. like using the horses. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like they're gonna fucking if there were a species to turn on us, it would be horses. Okay. And if you've ever seen a horse up close, no, you haven't. Do it again, and then realize <laughs> how fucking scary they are. Okay. Okay. Oh but God. I like my little pony. Yeah, I can, I can tell about that. And you didn't, have to, you didn't have to say that. You're always saying you can tell, but I don't know what you can tell. I can just tell. I'm not shocked. You mean because I'm like like funny and like cool? Yeah, not yeah. That's what yeah. Every pony liked the video. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring that back. I could. Every pony. I could. Every pony. Any pony want to play? Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I brought up that whole um, zoo thing because. Oh uh, right. There was. <laughs> Sorry, we get so. <laughs> no, yeah, I know. Um, there, I, I want to, I, I want to remain non-judgmental, but at the same time, I also like, I, I'm so like enthralled and kind of confused in a way. But there was these like these two kids, who like were like furries, like straight up, and um, they had like the cat like paws, mm. and they had like really realistic like cat masks that they would wear. Mm-hmm. And they'd like pretend to be cats or whatever. And like seeing it, I was like, wow. Like at the farm. At the farm. Which but you know makes you wonder like why they went to the farm in the first place. They right. probably want to identify with the animals or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Um and I say I want to like remain non judgmental because you know, they're kids, obviously. Mm-hmm. And I just I also don't get it. Not for me. Doesn't mean that people can't enjoy themselves though. Yeah. You know no, what I mean? For sure. But they were like into they were like yo, they were like really acting like the like a fucking cat. That's major. Like they were like really into their characters. And what I heard, did it what did it seem like the other animals thought? I don't know. Well, for the the first thing was the horses. Right. And they were doing it to the horses. The horse had a look in his I'm telling you, the horse had a look in his eye <laughs> like one day, motherfucker, I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> and it was so funny. Like, I, I, I just kept thinking that in my head. I'm like, I keep getting derailed, whatever. No, okay. I just kept thinking that in my head. Like, horses, like, would, like, turn on us. And, like, <laughs> the, the lady, like, who was, like, leading the tour, she was like, oh, yeah, like, no, these things, like, she was, like, pointing, like, to one of the donkeys, mm-hmm. which, like, as close as the camera is, like, that's how close we were. Okay. And, um, there, <laughs> she was like, Oh, we've been riding donkeys since like the Bible. Like you know, Jesus was like rode on a donkey. Like there's story. Like there's like literal like written evidence of like how long like we've been like utilizing um, donkeys and horses. And I looked at the donkey and like, he was like, "Motherfucker, I'm about to fucking let me out this cage. I'll show you what I can do right now." <laughs> and I was just like, "Oh my fucking god, this is so scary!" And like they just have like giant like snouts, and I'm just like, "I don't know, I don't know." It's just scary. But I mean, who's to say they're going to attack you? Like you have not done anything to the horses. I'm a human, donkeys. but I'm saying you think it's just like any. It's okay. just humans in general. Gotcha. They'd be like, "Oh, what the fuck?" Right. Like a donkey would like look at Shrek and be like, "I don't fucking talk like that." <laughs> yeah, that probably would be their largest grievance. The Shrek movie. Yeah. Have you seen the Shrek 2, like, cops scene or whatever? When, like, Donkey's getting arrested. And he's like, police brutality, police brutality. Oh, yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> and, like, they plant, like, catnip on pussy. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, that's not mine. <laughs> Fuck, that's so funny. Oh, my God. I know this was so long ago, but I forgot to say that Puss in Boots should have been on my media list in, for 2023. And it wasn't. Oh. The Last Wish. Best. That was 2023. Yeah. Time is Pro- weird. I think that was my favorite animated movie that year. That was really good. Yeah. Did you? And I loved how it depicted <laughs> realistic uh, panic attack. <laughs> 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 but no, I do very genuinely. When, like... there's a re- when there's a realistic panic attack at the function. <laughs> or my bad. Depiction of a panic attack. <laughs> not an actual panic attack. <laughs> when there's a, there's a real panic. No, yeah. yeah. That, that was a great. That was, really that was great. a great scene. I didn't get the Oscar. Who won? We were GDT, upset about right? That. Oh yeah, was that your Fucking house? Pinocchio. Yeah, I mean, I didn't watch it, so I can't say if it like deserved it or not. But I will say, I think it is like a good example of how, um, like, um, we need like competition, and competition's good in like any type of industry. But like, because sometimes you see people say like, oh, there should only be like one company doing all this shit. Um, but had it not been for Spider Verse. I don't think Puss in Boots would have like looked that way. Oh, for sure. Maybe they would have looked because I think it was like in 
dev hell for like years but then like it got picked up again oh i didn't know that and it happened to get picked up like around the same time people were, were being influenced by spider-verse right so yeah that's really interesting just want to say that hell yeah and then you totally caught <laughs> you remember the text you sent me like it was a screenshot of like the friends activity on spotify oh, yeah. and i was listening <laughs> to the puss and boots song which is then, so real no yeah i have real. it in at least one playlist dude it's so good yeah watch it watch it fuck dude and on that note god bless friend activity i find out so much through friend activity Ooh, it's kind of concerning. spotify is like people don't realize that's uh-huh. like the window to the mm-hmm. soul like i true. do some hardcore stalking that's how i find out people break up that's how i find out like it's major i saw i won't say who it was i definitely saw someone on my friend activity listening to him like listening to like some sexy time playlist or whatever <laughs> and i was like yo whoa dude <laughs> like make that shit private yeah because like you would never go on instagram and be like i'm having sex yeah but that's pretty much what it is it's like the same effect it's that's literally crazy. it was literally the same thing and i was like dude like calm down that's with it. wild yeah, I agree though. Spotify is so like you get so much information out of that. Yeah. Yeah. I should probably use like the social features a little more. But I'm saying we talked about it last or not last episode, but like a, in a previous episode mm-hmm. that Spotify should like have more social features. Yeah. Yeah. There should be. Um, I think it would benefit a lot from like an in-app messaging system, but nothing crazy. Just like a super quick way to see, oh, this person shared their playlist with you. Or, yeah. Like, like you can like make a playlist and then it'll like alert your followers like oh this person made a new playlist like for you like mm-hmm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. i think it needs some more of that also yeah. another thing i was thinking about why the fuck because on desktop i'm not sure if you I she doesn't primarily, have she doesn't have premium guys i don't know what to do about that i don't need premium and here's why on the desktop version you can do pretty much everything on premium meaning you can pick your own songs and you can loop songs which is mainly what i need it for when i get to a point where i am like commuting to school and commuting to work consistently i will get premium because then i'll want it on my phone but i don't drive enough to feel like paying all that money just, but, but just, and the ads are fine just, just get youtube why have spotify why have spotify at you that could, point? no you don't get that i don't it's not <laughs> poor I'm kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> oh my god, do you remember? Like, this is not gonna make sense to literally anyone but us. But do you remember like Autumn's first episode on Sugar Pine Seven? Yes. And then Steven was like, "Oh my god, you plan out your Spotify payment?" <laughs> 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 he was like, "They just kind of happened for me." I'm like, "Oh yeah, there it goes." Oh my god, that was so good. I fucking love that episode. Such a good episode. Yeah. Um. Anyway, like I was saying. Right. On so on the desktop version, you'll notice when you go to an artist page. It'll, play, it'll do like their top songs. And then there's a little, oh, see more. Oh, five more songs. That makes sense. Where the fuck is that on mobile? That's not a thing on mobile. True. Yeah. yeah. It just, it's just five and that's it. Mm-hmm. Why? It's, just, it's a very small thing, but I'm also like, dude, it would take like five seconds to yeah. implement that. No, 100%. What the fuck is wrong with everyone? I know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, oh. Speaking of Spotify. Um, there was a, an album that came out pretty recently by uh, French Montana. Uh, I didn't listen to it. I don't know if it's good or not. But what really enthralled me about this, this is like my third time saying the word enthralled on here. Um, and I sent this to you. You did. Is uh, the amount of edits on this album. So this is Mac and Cheese 5. I don't know if there's a Mac and Cheese 1 through 4. There is a Mac and Cheese 1 through 4. Oh, that's major. Mac and Cheese 5. And, uh... Get get ready for this. Ready? (laughs) Mac and Cheese 5. Mm -hmm. Mac and Cheese 5 Deluxe. Mac and Cheese 5 Versions. Mac and Cheese 5 Acapella. Mac and Cheese 5 Slow Down. Mac and Cheese 5 Sped Up. And then Mac and Cheese 5 Instrumental. Mm-hmm. So that's a lot of shit. Yeah. Oh my God, sorry. And um, we talked about it briefly a little bit with uh, Ariana Grande's single. But that was a single. Yeah, this is an... <laughs> this is a whole album. And the Mac and Cheese 5 versions, which I'm pretty... Yeah, it just has like the song and then every 
like version of that song right after dude it's so much shit it is 126 songs that's insane you should have seen him scrolling just now i would like, that's... Bro, i'm dude look i'm let me get this on camera dude look at how this is on an ipad too like, <laughs> yeah, look it's, at it's how long. much shit there is bro. yeah it's a lot of things and um our like consensus was like last time we talked about shit like this was like there's not a problem really with like artists making different versions of songs like people have been doing that for years but like the problem is the way it's displayed on spotify yeah like there needs to be too much there needs to be a setting on streaming services that is like the album regular all the tracks and then i said like what did i say like you click on like the album cover yeah, and then, it and then like it like it'll show the options for like all the different versions of mm -hmm. that album so like because when you go to his like discography it's no longer like um you know i'm just i'm just using him as an example but like i'm sure there's a bunch of other artists that do this but like they got amnesia montega coke boy six coke boy six money heist edition and then the one two three four five six seven different versions yeah. of this one That's album blaring it is fucking mad yeah i just i don't understand like how anyone would look at that and be like oh this looks clean it doesn't it doesn't look clean at it's all it's too much happening oh nah, dude we need to fucking fix that yeah yeah i think down like maybe this year i wouldn't be shocked if they also didn't do anything about it either though right to be honest i think like we need some type of we need like a new i don't think we need a new streaming platform but i would just i would like to see a streaming platform with solid like if i could just like take little bits of like every streaming platform i'd probably do it because I, I like apple music's quality mm. i like the algorithm and social aspect of spotify right and i like how much title pays its artists right if we can combine that yeah. into just one service then it's perfect then it's fucking perfect you guys but yeah. guess what this life fucking sucks mm -hmm. can't have shit around here no i don't know i don't like i think it. we got to kill the president oh you said i don't know oh good thing you said that one. because then you started I, saying something i don't i don't know what, I, some, something i don't know what i just said actually Oh my god, yesterday I was at a party. I was playing fishbowl. I didn't know what fishbowl was until then. Do you know what fishbowl is? Is that a drinking game? Um, I wouldn't say if it was. Um, oh. There's like names in a bowl. And um, it's like charades except with words. Like you just have to get your team to like guess who you're talking about. And um. one of mine was like Joe Biden. So I just went, oh, president. And then everyone said Joe Biden. And then I heard one little voice in the back say Trump. <laughs> And I said, let's brush past that. Hey, soon, soon, <laughs> soon, soon. Yeah, so that was that was interesting. I'm in a Facebook group called Latinos for Donald Trump. That sounds like you. DT. <laughs> Probably shouldn't get political on here, my bad. <laughs> I don't think, I, I'm not political at all. Is it political to say like Trump is like the funniest president? It's not. Is that political? So, well anything's inherently political if you're talking about a president but <laughs> no i don't think it is political to say he's funny he's epic bro <laughs> then that's political yeah yeah yeah. my bad i won't get political on here i think college students love to get political and like they pretend like they know what they're talking about when uh really uh you don't yeah a lot of times they don't high school students too bro yeah pipe down you don't know what the fuck you're talking about I also must say of the college students that I discuss like political things with poli sci majors are low key like oh. some of the least qualified people oh, like they need to shut I know the fuck smarter up. people in other uh, other categories other majors like I yeah. Like, yeah. I hate poli sci majors. Yeah. Fuck y'all. There's like a really it, it's like so niche but most of most of the ones I know are like really annoying. I hope oh. I'm not like I'm sure there's a good one that I know, but I, I'm generalizing. <laughs> Can't think of one. <laughs> Cannot think of one. Yeah. I think I, I'm i not into politics. I think the most I got into politics was when I took a government class in like my mm. senior year of high school. Because mm. I was like actually like learning about shit. I was like, oh, this is like, interesting. Right. But like, you know, I feel like when you hit a point where like you're not 
being taught things, then it's like really up to you to mm-hmm. like try and like seek out information like that yeah. and like who to vote for and like when to vote, where to vote, like it's a whole bunch of different shit. I don't know. Not to get political or anything. <laughs> Not to get political. Not to get political, but let's talk about it for <laughs> another. Let's talk about politics. <laughs> I don't want to get too political, but uh, I think like, I think cats shouldn't have collars. Whoa, that's big. That's big. I'm just kidding. Cats can have collars. I'm sorry. I was just joking. He's just he's just playing around. Was, guys, like, like guys, calm, don't like freak calm out. down, guys. Guys, guys. <laughs> like relax about it. <laughs> Because that's the best thing to say when someone's mad. Yeah. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Calm down. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, no, that's always good to hear. Exactly. It's so comforting. <laughs> I'm really good at comforting people. Are you? Uh, I think so. I like to say so. But I got, there was a point in time in my life where like I would like give people advice and they just wouldn't follow it. And I'm like, oh, that's don't annoying. Don't fucking talk to me. Then. Yeah. <laughs> like, no. Don't, don't fucking talk to me. But I get some people just want to like rant or vent and yeah, like don't yeah, want to yeah. hear your advice. And so once I learned that, I just kind of stopped giving advice. Unless I'm specifically asked to give yeah, advice, yeah, yeah. then I will give advice. But most of the time, no. I will not give advice. Speaking of advice, did you hear what happened to Vice? Vice media? Oh, yeah. Which is major for someone like me. Did, yeah. you, did you see the town hall meeting? No. Tori. What? Oh, my God. What? So, okay. Everyone got laid off, right? Yeah. A bunch of people got laid off. And uh, I don't know what service they were. I want to say Zoom. I could be wrong, but they were live streaming the town hall. Like it was like the C, this, all like the executives, like the CEO, the CFO, CCO. I don't know, whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, they were like doing the meeting. They were like, "Oh, the state of the the state of everything is just so bad right now." Blah blah blah. And everyone who lost their jobs was like, like doing like thumbs down reactions. <laughs> In the, uh, like, I don't know what service it, it looks like. You know, like when you go on Instagram live and like you can like put a heart and then like yeah, it goes like yeah, that. Yeah. It was like that. Pretty That's much. so funny. So it was just a bunch of thumbs down, <laughs> like just everywhere. Oh, and that's then, crazy. and then like one of the CEOs is like, um, I, I think we should, we, we, we should be like giving this information to people like who actually want it and like who aren't just like putting all this negativity in here. So yeah, I think we're, I think we're going to go. And then <gasps> that's it. That was the town hall. No, that was it. Like they ended it right there. That's fucking crazy. I'm like, you guys are so fucking stupid. These yeah. These little suits or whatever. So bad. That's insane. No, it's terrible. I think like, and you know, like, especially like when you lost your job. I know. Like it's so, it's so funny to me so how negative. like, yeah, this guy's getting so hurt by it. But like, you know, you still have a job. You're in a high paying position. Yeah. These people like who like, you know, need to pay bills and stuff. Like just got like their one source, probably, probably one source of like, financial income taken away from them yeah i think a thumbs down is like should fine. be allowed that's fine should be allowed honestly if i was in that position and i had to give a speech about like how like you know the company is failing and whatever and i got bombarded with thumbs down i think i probably deserve that yeah and i would just try and do better but this guy's like oh we need to end the meeting like he like he he, he, he shit the bed he just straight up shit the bed and then he couldn't take a couple of thumbs down that's insane no it's fucking it, it's like insulting almost <laughs> it's terrible journalism yeah. is like dying i know Oops, how's that do. make you feel <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that that makes me feel like we need a couple of sponsors on the pod um, yeah because both of our industries are failing yeah <laughs> so if anybody wants to fucking you know chip in yeah we'll take fucking better us. help at this point <laughs> fuck yeah. it i don't care they can get mad at no yeah <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm just joking. I'm joking. Um, if BetterHelp is the first person to reach out, hey, look, hey, hey listen, hey, we hey. <laughs> it's tough right now. If BetterHelp it happens to be the first people to be like, hey, you want to... who are we? To... Who are we? It's, it's easy. It's easy to say, oh, you're selling out to like terrible company. Like when you're like sitting at home and like yeah. with your parents and you have everything paid for, dude. We got bills to pay, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have bills to pay. Yeah. Do you have bills to pay, actually? I do. Okay, we got bills yeah, to pay. We have bills the fuck? To pay. <laughs> Shit. God damn. Yeah. Um, I think, I know we talked about it last time and it was kind of jokingly, but like we would actually be great sponsors. 
Yes. No, I fully agree. Because we would do it in a fun way. We I would. Don't, I don't think we'd just be like, oh, like we'd actually I know. like. Yeah. Because I can tell when people are just like, uh, we were talking about Drew Gooden last episode. Like he, Danny and Curtis, I think all make their sponsors really fun. Like they put like a skit into it. Yeah, there you go. And I like, I, I just watch because like I want to see what they're going to do. Meanwhile, other people, like creators I really, really love. I won't name them because I think they're great. But when they just like read it, I like, I'm like, what the fuck? And you love white YouTubers. So I bad. wasn't thinking about. Oh, I was thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> I watch people of joking. all colors. I love white YouTubers too. <laughs> There's so many of you guys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> let someone else fucking take a shot, man. Yeah, let us. Let two mixed people take a yeah. shot. Fuck. Oh, last episode you had people guess um, what Asian you were. I'm going to have people. You oh. have five seconds to comment what where my black side is okay. from five one oh, oh. my bad <laughs> yeah you do it five four three two one comment yep belizean if you put i don't know if you put african that's put african wrong uh, if you put fucking ethiopian uh, gone yeah I, in my head, I said Ethiopian, but then my mind was like, you mean utopian, right? I almost said utopian. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Is it a utopia over there? Probably. In Ethiopia? What Ethiopia? if it's doing terrible right now? You oh. just said it's like a utopia. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how Ethiopia is doing. Okay, 10 likes will go to Ethiopia and do yeah. a fucking thing. You really <laughs> Belizean? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, I didn't lie about that. <laughs> I, I, I just like, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I'm a, both of my sides got uh, conquered by Spain. So. Oh. And I have one friend who's like half Spain, Spanish. And uh, I'm like, I got beef with them because I'm like, bro. Yeah, no, that was really. my stuff, low key. Yeah, those guys are everywhere. That's why, like, a lot of, um, like, it just so happens to be that I'm half Mexican, but, like, a lot of, um, like, Filipino people just have, like, Mexican or, like, Sp- or Spanish descent, like, last names. Yeah. Cause, uh, we got conquered and we got our shit like pushed into us so yeah yeah. the first time it was like fourth grade like history or something like Mm -hmm. our teacher said that because like my school had like a lot of filipinos and then ever since then i've been like oh my god yes no it's it's a thing yeah yeah literally every single filipino person has like or not every my bad but like most yeah um that i've met in america at least Mm -hmm. are very uh last names are of latino descent Mm mm-hmm the more you know the more you on know. junior varsity junior varsity fun facts junior varsity <sighs> i'm trying to think of like a catchy name oh like a sports um, related like but i don't think they have that shit on sports either no they don't have sports facts junior varsity box score i don't fucking okay. i give up I yeah give up. no that was all right no it wasn't let's look at our list i think we're I missing forgot that was something even there. oh okay do you want to hear about Olivia Rodrigo or my my professor or The Bachelor? It's a, oh, it's a lot of different things. Yeah. Just tackle all of them. Fuck it. Okay. Um, I'll just start with my professor because I think this will be the fastest. <laughs> I have an amazing um, professor. I had his class last quarter. He taught a class on um, affect and emotion in politics. And now I'm taking his class on entertainment and politics. Um, even though they're about politics, they're in the calm major that I am. But anyway, he's the greatest ever. So I like take all his classes now, but something interesting last quarter when he used his slides, his slides, Mm. um, had like, um, regular like capitalization this quarter, all his slides are all lowercase letters and every time i see it i just think who taught him that he's like i know who a student because he's like a he's a grown he's a grown man and i was like wait like this is so i appreciate it because as we discussed maybe episode uh eight maybe yeah i like i love lowercase letters i think they're like so important you said a, a love to language society. you said yeah, yeah 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 no legit and i mean that so like i low-key i'm like more interested in the slides because they're like more aesthetic to me but i'm like what caused this shift within the quarters who taught him he's a like maybe like 50 year old man yeah, who taught no. him to use so let me break this down for you um like a student was definitely like oh professor i need this a i'll do anything it takes yada 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 
I love this man, though. Oh. Well, I liked my fucking freshman year English teacher, and then he got arrested on a campus for touching <gasps> kids. So. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. I loved this guy. Too. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> Everyone crazy. loved but him. But I feel like that's, like, that's often how it works. Like, it's the, like, welcoming. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But your professor, I don't know. Maybe, maybe do some, I don't know. That's a shame. Get a magnifying glass, bring it to class. What's the magnifying glass going to do? Detective work. Oh, gotcha. That's yeah. what they do. Mm-hmm. Ever see Sherlock Holmes? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Love that show. Ever see Enola Holmes? I saw the first one and I, I didn't like it all that much. But Louis Partridge is dating Olivia Rodrigo now. Louis Partridge and there we have is a transition. <laughs> <laughs> is that Who? interesting to you at all that Louis Partridge is dating Olivia Rodrigo? Who? Okay, the, the uh, guy what, uh, in Enola uh, Holmes. I don't know if they're like love interest or like maybe you read the second movie they're love interest, but like the like su- main supporting. Oh character. yeah, no, my my sister would like pull up their interviews on the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you yeah. know him, yeah, because they have funny like. They're date him and Orod are dating. Yeah, and they're really cute together. He's like her age, right? Yeah, that's like that's also what's so great about good, it because for good. Good. a decent amount of time, Olivia was with these gross, creepy, fuck grown Zach men. Bia, like legit, yeah, like grown men when she was really young. Um, and it's not her fault. Um, no, it's not her fault at all. But um, but yeah, her and Louis are so cute. But this brings me to the thing I had on my list, which is that um, last week, I think exactly a week ago, I woke up um, and it was the morning after the first night of the Guts tour, and I I actually thought like maybe today would be a good day to drown to drown. I still don't have guts tickets and i feel like it 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 i should just die now because it looked so like it looks like the best concert that could ever happen to anyone i keep getting clips of it on tiktok yeah. it looks like super high production it value. looks so amazing like i remember people being like why is it so expensive like that's like the biggest artist yeah right now. what do you mean why is it so expensive yeah. and it showed like it I saw her so like great. she thought she was like the DreamWorks kid like on the moon or whatever. Yeah, yeah I saw her. I saw her doing that. Yeah, and, but then it's also cool because like every video I see, like she's like in a different outfit, which means yeah. like there's outfit changes. She switches I like things that. up, especially because like, like her music has a lot of like tonal shifts. Like the moon is so good for her, like emotional songs, but then she does this like super cool like rock stuff. She's really embracing her maturity. Like she looks hot. She looks hot, and I just don't know how I don't have tickets when all of her music is about me and for me. Um. So, and she played Obsessed, which is her unreleased song that she also wrote about my exact experience, my life, like exactly like me. Um, I just need to be there. I love her so much. And what was so crazy is when I was watching the TikToks, I was having a Jack in the Box mint Oreo shake because it's like around the time of March, they bring in their mint shake. The shamrock shake type shit. Yeah. 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 And almost exactly a year ago was the first night of the Eras tour and I was drinking a mint shake and crying over the videos of the Eras tour because I didn't have tickets. But that leads us to the next point. I was crying on that day, but then I eventually went to the Eras tour. So I do believe there's hope for me for the guts. When did she hit LA? August. August? So I have time. time. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Some little nine-year-old could drop out. It could happen. Could happen. Or you could go to like, did did she go to like San Diego or some shit? Like, Probably. I guess I could check that. You could yeah. check that, too. You're I'm right. so upset that I'd never... Um, I had a chance to get Porter Robinson tickets in San Diego, but it was, like, in the way back, like, the nosebleed. I don't know. I pro- oh. I could have went, but I was like, I don't know if I'd, like... I don't know. Right. But I kind of regret not going because, like, I really liked that era. But, mm-hmm. yeah. If you got well, the chance, you should definitely go. coming. It's true. Very true. Yeah. Maybe I'll go to a Porter Robinson concert finally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You should definitely go to... Oh, Rods. I really want to. Whatever. I know she's dating a guy right now. I think, like, low-key, she needs to leave his ass and then drop more breakup songs because there's a heat. <laughs> but I also Sorry would really love, like, a good love song from her because she doesn't have any. I think, well, I listened, I remember, like, in, like, ceramics class one day during senior year, I just, like, listened to all of Sour. And, like, it was, it may, correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, mm-hmm. but, like, it was, like, all breakup songs but then there was just a song about like how she's an ally <laughs> to like gay people <laughs> and then exactly and then continue like, to like just yeah. like go on the breakup thing. <laughs> like that's what i gathered yeah from yeah it. yeah that that's like that's like that, that was like part of it yeah is there a um, love song in there no 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 
Yeah, you're right. Is there a so, love song on this new one? No. Because, like, even the even the ones where she's like, oh, like, I'm, like, thinking about my ex. Like, there's just not, like, a real, like, genuine, like, that's what I need. Like, a, a real just happy relationship song from her. She deserves to be happy, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Why not? Fuck it. I do like songs like Good For You, though. Oh, yeah. No, that's, think, that's also an amazing song. I think those song. are flames. Yeah. Oh, Rod. Hell, yeah. If you're, I've been saying this for a while, too. She needs me in the studio. Have you been saying that? I agree. I've been saying that. She, like, I like her music. There's some parts where I'm just like, yo, like, we need her, like, on some type of, like, different type beat. Because sometimes, like, it's not her fault because she's not a producer. Some of the production sounds a little basic. That's okay. I feel like she needs some type of like she needs like Kenny Beats on like a song. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, she's like Kenny Beats or like fucking um, fuck, dude. She'd go so hard like on a Sophie beat, R.I.P. Sophie. Oh, but like some shit like that. I don't know. No, that's real. Yeah. Maybe like Charlie XCX could like that'd be take sick. her under her wing just for a sec. Because both of these albums have all been with the same producer, Dan. No, he's Nigro. good. I'm not saying he's bad. I, I like him. He's but definitely yeah, pretty good. A little switch um, up would be fun for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's cool. She's like still like this is like only her sophomore album. Yeah. So she has a lot of room to explore, honestly. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've always liked her stuff. And she's half Filipino, so. Yes, hooray! Yeah. I saw her at like a family function one time. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I was like, keep it up, dude. I guess whatever. Mm-hmm kind of weird though i had a dream i met her but in the dream i still i my retainer was in and i was like oh my god i can't take a picture like she can't see me smile but you're you cannot beat the i want to kill olivia rodrigo allegations like you just talk what about her like, in such, like an insane way <laughs> but i don't talk about her like i want to kill her i talk about her like i want to be besties that's literally what they say oh my god i feel the need to state that while i get in my parasocial eras i am never parasocial enough to like send hate to joshua bassett like the way things were going during sour did you that's funny as i sent him a hate mail i was like (laughs) dude get your s word together because like you can't be like you broke my you broke um olivia rodrigo's heart bro that's right. not cool i right. need to like repay <laughs> or whatever what is, i don't know <laughs> you need to repay <laughs> I, don't I don't know the whole situation right i get what you mean though mm-hmm. i'm parasocial too sometimes but i'm never like because some people you see some people comment and you're like jesus Christ. i saw yeah. someone on twitter <laughs> like because i i think for olivia rodrigo's like merch drop like she released like a shot glass Oh, I know what you're talking you about. about. Yeah. And then someone, some fucking, <laughs> I can only mess. imagine they're like 13 years 100%, old. 100%, yeah. But they're like, it just, I don't know. It just kind of feels like she's saying to Taylor Swift, like, hey, look at me, I drink. <laughs> and I just, and then someone replied like, yeah, no, I got that too. I was too afraid to say it. I'm really glad you said it. But like, no, it just really feels like she's like rubbing it in Taylor's face. Like, oh, I can drink now. Like, this is the type of person I am. And it just reminded me of that one tweet. Where it's like, it's two dumb bitches telling each other, exactly, oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, it's literally it's what I felt like seeing that. My favorite tweet is the one from Niall Horn did like a Q&A on okay. Twitter. And then someone was like, oh, did you listen to BTS's new album yet? And mm-hmm. he was like, no, not yet. And then a BTS fan, I wish I had the exact quote. We could find <laughs> it. But they were like, I don't like the way he said it. It was kind of like, no, I haven't. And I never will. Oh he God, he could have said that, something yeah. like, no, but I'm excited to. And it's just, oh my God, it's my I favorite fucking that. tweet. And I love when people like spoof it on like someone else's like reply to something yeah oh yeah, my for god sure. it's so fucking funny no people get insane yeah and it just happens like i don't know like every other fucking like famous person and it's also like i'm so glad it's never like a famous person like i'm a super fan of right to be honest like because I, I get like parasocial people in my fucking like people who i'm a fan of but no, never to like that extreme yeah 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 i don't know i can't find the exact tweet but I see people talking about it. <laughs> it's someone asked why are BTS fans dragging Nile Horn on Twitter, and someone said it's because Nile did not listen to BTS new single Dynamite, <laughs> and Armies called him a racist. <laughs> Holy fuck! 
No, shit like that. Why I had to like delete Twitter. I no, I deleted really? Twitter again yesterday. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Okay. Good um, slay. But I, I re-downloaded it again because I, I wanted to upload like a video, but I wouldn't do it on my Mac for whatever reason. Oh. <sighs> yeah. But I fucking, I hate Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh. Fuck. <sighs> Can I tell you what I uploaded on Twitter? I don't know if you saw it. I don't, yeah, when you it's, said that, um, I was like, I don't think I saw anything. Uh, when I was in Sunset Pirates, we did a song called IDC. And we shot a music video for it the same day we did the toxic music video, but I never released it because it, like, compared to the toxic music video, it was just it was trash oh. honestly. But I found it when I was cleaning my hard drive, and I was like, oh, this is cool, so I uploaded it on Twitter. Oh my god, I can't wait to watch. Yeah, I mean, it's super basic, like no cuts type thing, like That's just okay. yeah. But That's it's, really cool. I just found it interesting because like we're like literally we're, like wearing the same outfits as we were that day. We oh, that's funny. I know gunshots. We live in, sorry, um, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought it was interesting. Yeah, that's cool. So I posted it Hell yeah. on Twitter.com. Not calling it the other name. No. Nope. No, I feel like will. the only people who call it X are the, like, like really old people or like professionals who have to call it X. Yeah. Or like people who like, people who like want to sound like. Oh, or like, yeah. uh, uh, like fans, obviously. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Elon. But I'm not calling it that shit, bro. In my paper, when we have to refer to it, it's like a like copy rule. Like we say X, formerly known as Twitter. Yeah, like yeah. we like to still give our little like props to Twitter because that's that's what it that's is. That's just that's what it. I don't know what this little like commotion is. Fuck. <laughs> Are you interested in talking about The Bachelor? Nope. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of thoughts. I have a lot of thoughts. I have not been watching this season. It's been a long time since I've like watched a complete season of The Bachelor. But I've been seeing a lot of it on TikTok because everyone's obsessed with this year's Bachelor, Joey. Joey's so different. Joey's so attractive. I'm doing quotes for our audio listeners. Guys, Joey was president of his frat in college, and it's oh. so fucking obvious. <laughs> I'm, like, so confused by Joey, and I'm so confused about why we're all so in love with Joey. I saw one TikTok where for a minute I could maybe see it, but then every other clip of him I've seen, I'm like, oh, my God. I saw a clip where he, like, he was, like, asking this girl when the last time she had hot chocolate like they were ordering hot chocolate and he was like when's the last time you had hot chocolate and then he made this like weird like fuck boy face and he's just like so fratty and i'm i'm just i have so many questions and then i saw this thing where this very intelligent girl was telling him like i am hesitant about because they do this thing where like they go to their hometowns and they meet their family she was like i don't really know if i want to show you to my family if you're not like serious about this how are you going to bring a man to meet your parents and say he's also been kissing six other women at the same time as me and if i'm lucky he'll pick me yeah oh i would shoot myself yeah. i would never do it that being said i'm lying a little because i do have a five-year plan if i do not look like i'm on track to be on dancing with the stars by the time i'm 24 I am going to apply to The Bachelor okay. because it's pretty much guaranteed if you're The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, you will be on Dancing with the Stars because they're both ABC shows. Oh. Um, so if that's like the way I have to do it, because I don't think I'll be so great at dancing when I'm like, not to say like old, a lot of older people win, but I want to do it like 25, 26. Right. So I'm just going to do that. Okay. I think Brian and I can like fake a breakup and then just get back together because I have no interest in anyone actually on that show. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's the that's the only circumstance in which I would be on The Bachelor. I see. You know, I'm I'm looking at him. He's yeah. a. I, I would say like your observations are pretty accurate. Thank you. I think he. Uh, there's something about him that looks kind of like an everyday every man type thing. Mm -hmm. Like I think that's the draw. Mm hmm. If I had to guess, I don't know. I don't really watch the fucking show, so I don't really know anything. Yeah. Also, by the way, when you were talking, I looked up Joey Bachelor, but like I it like I accidentally hit Joey Badass. Who's so. that? The artist. You don't know Joey Badass? No. Damn. I thought Joey it was badass. just gonna show you like a like, like a guy who was a badass. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um no, Joey Badass is an artist. Uh but yeah, no, literally I could never go on a fucking reality dating show like that because like it's just 
kind of de- dehumanizing, honestly. It's like degrading to be like, especially like if you're a woman, like, like what you said, like, oh, maybe he'll pick me. I'll be so lucky if he picks me. Yeah. Like whenever I see like Love Island, it's just like, I just don't like shit like that. Yeah. I, I get the pull, but not super into it. I don't really watch reality TV in general. Yeah. Even though it was like huge during the Rider Strike, but don't fuck with that at all. No. Oh, know. and a, another thing, he was partying with like sorority girls as like promo. Okay. Like on camera or just like by himself? Well, and then like, he really got caught. He's like, guys, oh, it's promotion. <laughs> well, no, no. Like, he, like, went on, like, a party bus and they all, like, watched, like, the latest episode of The Bachelor or something. But I'm like, can, like, what? Like, what? I don't, mm-hmm. ugh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorority girls would like that. Yeah. yeah but that's y'all, the thing, like, Y'all would like that. I'm just saying, the people on TikTok who seem, like, so, like, amazed by Joey, it's because he's, like, a frat guy and I do believe most of them are, like, sorority girls. Well, like, I mean, that's, like, you kind of need a guy like that on a show. For True. That. Like, I think I would love if they, like, just got, like, a random fucking loser. Yeah. <laughs> like, I would adore that. Yeah. But I, then I'd watch. But, like, you know, if they, I can't, they kind of need, like, this perfect guy would like, you know, a chiseled face and like right. checks all the boxes type thing. Like even like when it was like, what was like the old people version the of golden the golden bachelor? The golden bachelor. I mean, even My like he kind of fit that, that description. Mm-hmm. Like they need to be a very part- particular type of person. I think if yeah. I were to go like on a show that like wasn't scripted, it would have to be like Wipeout or American Ninja Warrior. Oh, that'd be fun. That'd be so fun. Yeah. But the water... If you fall, are you just not going to fall? Oh, yeah, I just want to fall. Okay. If I do fall, I'll just like, I'll just save myself. It's fine. Okay. I don't really, I don't have a plan yet. (laughs) They should do like an episode or like a show like The Bachelor, but whoever wins is like completely dictated on who can like complete like an, an American Ninja Warrior type like obstacle course. And like, that's how the man will decide. And like, it'll be like like the talking heads will be like yeah you know what Brittany kind of did like the the red ball thing pretty well <laughs> but i don't know the way diana did the ropes i don't know i don't know that's this is funny. tough we should do shit like that yeah no that's great now that's a good like judge when, of character when this becomes a thing in a year go back to this podcast josh did it. josh did it josh did <laughs> um because i do that shit all the time every time dude i feel like it's so hard to come up with an original idea these days not because like Oh, everyone is so unoriginal, but because like everyone is original to a point where like there's so many humans, there's so many ideas being like, there's like no such thing as like a completely original idea anymore. Mm Because like something was like spawned off of this thing, which is spawned off of this thing. I feel like I've talked about this before, but like maybe. Yeah. Um, I remember there was like, I had an idea for a show when I was like, must have been like 13 or like 12. And um, it's just like, it's just a funny idea where like every conspiracy theory is real <laughs> and the government has to like um like keep like keep it under wraps. Like there's like a specific department in the government that like it the whole job is to keep it under wraps and then like there's a guy who like discovers that like aliens are real and then they have to like they like they go to brainwash him to like make him forget it happened but then like they realize he's like a really important asset and like maybe they could use him for like work or whatever. Um, kind of like the plot of White Collar, but like with government stuff. I'm not sure. If, have you seen White Collar? No. You probably like White Collar. Um, but anyway, literally that entire idea used by, um, I forgot her name, but she worked on Gravity Falls. But the show is called Inside Job on Netflix, mm-hmm. which is literally, it's what I described. Maybe minus the whole like thing where they bring in someone. Right. But it's literally the whole premise is like oh every conspiracy theory is real and we're trying to keep it under like wraps that's crazy i got so upset when that got announced that is upsetting fuck like i literally had that idea how do you think she like were you like talking about it like maybe near her that's what well that's the thing right i don't know because we might have been astral projecting in the same plane so i don't know whether or not and i i tend to talk about my ideas when i'm astral projecting yeah maybe she picked up on it I don't know mm-hmm. for sure, mm-hmm. but what I do know for sure is that I uh, I would like to do that idea one day. Pissed me off when I heard that she did it already. Yeah. All love to her though. I'm sure the show is great, yeah. and I can't control who fucking takes my ideas because no. like I'm sure when that got announced, there was like a million other people that were like, "Oh, <laughs> fuck, that was my idea." 
Darn. Yeah. And you don't want to be that guy that's like, oh, this was literally my idea. Yeah. You, sound like, you sound like a lunatic. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Oh, well. I don't know. I I do think there's like really no such thing as original ideas these no, days. And I don't yeah. mean that in like a mean way. Like, oh, no, there's nothing original coming right. out. Because there definitely is original stuff. But what I'm trying to say is that like everything original is kind of like derivative of something at this point because yeah. you know we've been alive for like millions of years yeah so like it's just kind of bound to happen like oh well like i bet when someone invented the wheel another motherfucker also invented the wheel at a similar time and right. was like dude that was my wheel that was my fucking idea mm-hmm. fuck same thing with like every other invention whatever yeah that's just my little what do you call it like milk box Ooh. Like when you stand up on a milk box. Is it milk box? I think you should Google that because I don't think that's... That don't sound right. That doesn't sound right when, to me. Whenever people stand up on Oh, like soapbox. Oh, shit. Soapbox. Right? Box and soap box but I soap thought soapbox... I thought the context of soapbox is like, oh, you're like giving like a sad speech. But maybe I'm crazy. I thought it was just like when someone like wanted to say something. So they just gotcha. set up a little box and then stood up on it. Oh, like in Hamilton. Um, oh, my God. That's okay. That's okay. But there is a very good, one of my favorite songs in Hamilton is when the guy's like up and he's reading from the Reynolds, not the Reynolds pamphlet, the like the sheet and he's like, he's not the rebel. And then, and then that's another example of what I was talking about um, a couple episodes ago about how I like how when we don't talk about Bruno, there's like a couple voices at the same time. Lynn has this great way of writing like two, like almost like in conversation with each other. Um, Lynn has a great way of standing like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> have you ever seen that picture? Yes, I have. But I love that picture. He's just a fun guy. No, look, I don't hate Lynn Manuel Miranda. Obviously, I just think it's like kind of funny to like dogpile on him. Sorry, <laughs> I mean like when you do shit like that, you're gonna be look, you're gonna be slapped around a little bit. But it's all love, bro. Have you seen a tweet where it's like I think someone like was like I think maybe he himself posted, but it was like a picture of like a specific train in New York. And then it was like, this is where Lin-Manuel Miranda like wrote like pretty much all of Hamilton or like this is, or he posted it and he was like, this is where I wrote all of Hamilton. Mm-hmm. And then someone like tweeted it and was like, I ride that train every day. I could have stopped this. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I'm just kidding. Dude, Hamilton's fine. It's great. I don't even like musicals, but I watched Hamilton and I enjoyed it. Yay. There you go. And he's also the fucking Moana guy. So yeah. we can I tread lightly on Lin-Manuel Miranda's name, bro. Mm-hmm. Make fun of him, but like make, remember that remember. he made How Far I'll Go and Where You Are and You're Welcome. He directed Tick, Tick, Boom. He d- Really? Yeah, that was his directorial debut. Okay. I watched like maybe 10 minutes of that. That's an amazing film and Andrew Garfield should have won the Oscar. Did he not? No, Will Smith got the Oscar. The same year Is that he same- punched... That was so weird. Yeah. I don't know. I hope something like that like, happens this year. No, yeah. But just like the fact that like a celebrity like of his profile can like go up there and then like feel up Chris Rock like under there and then like continue to slap him and then spit on him and then like turn around and then moonwalk from the stage. What were you watching? The, the award show. Okay. Was that not? I might have seen like the cut version. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know. I, I saw it on Live Leak. <laughs> and a uh, world star um guys that's the end of the episode yeah. by the way it's done it's done yeah the um, good news is if you want more of us yeah if you want more of us i got this i got this okay let's if you go. want more of us this podcast is on youtube spotify um wherever you stream really like apple Podcasts. i don't know um if you want to follow us individually i'm avila region this is victoria m <laughs> i don't know is that like your is that your <laughs> handle on what on like youtube oh yeah on youtube is victoria m yeah um, we'll look at the end card <laughs> um junior varsity's junior varsity show on socials um i would say if you want more of this podcast but like condensed then you should follow us on tiktok yeah. um that's where we kind of post clips and fun stuff like that and people seem to like us the most on tiktok mm-hmm. so thank you guys oh and thank you for 500 views i appreciate yeah. that yeah um this has been junior varsity forever we're done no goodbye news to me